Honestly, when I travel to Asia, I feel a lot of culture shock. I feel like I stand out like an American. Um, American girls sort of like to do a lot of beauty treatments or different things. Um, for example, the hair removal. They're very into waxing and laser and things like that. And also one huge difference is Asian women in Asia like to be very pale and right. porcelain skin, you know, as fair as they can be. Um, they don't sit out and tan, but yeah. here in California, everyone wants to be tan. They, they use the spray tan, they lay out at the beach. There's even a lot of tanning salons yeah. when you're driving around. That's so weird because at the beginning I thought, oh, it's very, we have tons of sun, sunlight here. Right. How come people are still going to those tanning salons? Right, right. I think they just want a quicker tan. They, you know, especially before an event, you see a lot of the celebrities in Hollywood uh, before the Oscars or before a movie premiere. They'll go and actually get a spray tan all over their body. So just for a couple days, they look like they've been on vacation. Mm -hmm. So it's a very different, there are a lot of cultural differences here. And I think uh, recently a lot of Asian American designers um, are starting to, to raise up or we're paying more, more attention yes. to their work, especially after um, Michelle Obama wear the, the dress that's designed by Jason Wu. Yes, um, Jason's a wonderful designer and he's getting a lot of attention right now from the media from celebrities. And there's some other wonderful Asian American designers, um, Philip Lim, who's here from California. He's now based in New York. Um, Peter Som is a Korean American designer. And Alexander Wang is also very popular right now. He's in New York. So we're seeing a lot of Asian faces in fashion, which is something very new. It used to be you would just look to Italy for designers or Paris or somewhere. Uh, but now Asian Americans are are really making a big splash in the mm -hmm. industry. And I think at the beginning, um, a lot of the American fashions are from Europe, from yes. France, from Italy, and many are from Japan. But what do you think the trend is gonna be in the next five years? Well, it would be interesting because we haven't seen a lot of big designers out of places like South America or even Australia. So it would be, you know, they have a lot of fashion going on in those places, so it'll be interesting to see like you mentioned, we've had Europe for many years and now yeah. it would be interesting to go to different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And especially Asia, I think, is going to be a major influence. Mm -hmm. I know you write a lot of stuff on fashion and what, like, for example, what's going to be um, fashionable next year and yes. um, you will interview celebrities. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what's your life like, like what kind of events would you go to? Okay, um, well I go to a lot of fashion shows and so you sit in the front row and it's very exciting because there's all the bright lights and uh -huh. you know a fashion show sometimes feels like an opera or like a play or something and it's just a fantasy world, just complete fantasy and all the models and so that's one event and then um, a lot of times I go to designer um, events at their stores if they're mm -hmm. launching a new collection or they're debuting some exciting handbag or something like that and then I also go to some of the award shows just to cover, you know, the red carpet is a very big thing here in the U.S. So. Um, we see what they're wearing, we interview them, you know, how did you pick it out, you know, how do you feel, that, that sort of thing. Do you think a lot of the things that uh, celebrity, celebrity does in Hollywood affect people's life in the States? I do. Um, if you notice, all the magazines are very popular here, all the tabloid magazines, and people really look to celebrities to decide how they want to dress. So if somebody loves Angelina Jolie, they might try to copy her look Style, you yeah. know they want bigger lips they want long hair extensions they want beautiful clothes and other people um, it could be something like sunglasses um, a young celebrity will wear a pair of sunglasses and then the next week they sell out at every store because everyone wants to copy their favorite mm -hmm. celebrity and I remember you mentioned that even though teenagers they have their own special fashion. Yes. They probably would just go to very cheap stores and get yes. very fashionable stuff. Absolutely. That's what's really cool about watching what teenagers do because they tend to, they don't have as much money to spend, so they tend to make it work from they'll go to the mall, they'll go, you know, to wherever they're shopping and they'll pull out really funky, you know, scarves and hats and glasses and, you know, they're sort of, I feel like that's the true street style. It usually starts with the younger kids. Mm -hmm. And I think, which one, which city do you prefer, L.A. or New York? 
The I fashion. prefer, well, <laughs> I think New York has great style on uh -huh. the street. If you just step outside, you, you'll see a hundred people who have amazing style. LA is more laid back. There's no dress code. You can go to a fancy restaurant and, you know, in jeans if you want. Um, but I love LA and I, I'm a California girl, so I really prefer to be in LA, but I think New York fashion is obviously an amazing thing. And I also feel like in LA you have to drive to different part of town. Yes. Like you could probably go to San Monica, you could probably yes. go to Beverly Hills, you could go to Silver Lake to mm -hmm. get different style. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about what style sure. do they have specifically Absolutely. in different cities? Um, so LA, you know, there's very large. It's, right. it's you have many to neighborhoods and you drive all the time. So um, it's very different. You know, Santa Monica and Venice are near the beach, so you see a lot of people in flip flops and jeans and t-shirts very casual and then you go somewhere like Beverly Hills and it's very fancy a lot of ladies in Chanel and all the big designers um, you see people at lunch you know very dressed in suits and things like that but then as you head more east to Hollywood to Silver Lake Echo Park these are very funky neighborhoods so you see people taking a chance you might see someone with a crazy hat or pink hair or something like that. So it really depends where you are in the city. It can be totally different in one day. You know, you go here to there and you see so many different types of fashion. And which is your favorite store to go shopping or what is your favorite neighborhood to go? Um, I really like shopping in an area called West Third Street, which is right in the middle of the city. They have a lot of great independent designers. It's right by the Beverly Center. Right near the Beverly Center, which is a huge um, shopping mall. And so I like to go there just because I don't want to look the same as everybody. Mm -hmm. So I don't tend to shop at the big retailers. But um, Barney's New York is another fantastic department store. They have probably 50 designers under one roof. So you can also find... Uh, Alexander Wang and Philip Lim and these designers I mentioned before, they're all carried at Barney's. So if you want sort of edgy, cutting-edge fashion, that's where you